everyone, Rachel here on the Kidaholic Kits YouTube channel with a 12 by 12 process video using the July kits. So getting straight into it, I'm starting off with this beautiful black and white moon and star paper and just using my gesso I'm going to paint the outline of a cloud and then I'm going to go ahead and use my finger and smudge some more gesso to finish off that cloud shape. I'm just trying to get a thin coverage. Uh, it doesn't end up as thin as I would have liked it, but I am happy with the end result. This doesn't need to be perfect, and in essence, it adds to that cloud fluffy effect that I was going for. So my photo I am scrapping is this one of my son having a snooze on the couch. And I am just going to back that with a piece of vellum from my stash first and then use some of the pattern paper from the Daydreamer by Kayser Craft Collection to add a few more layers. So this photo, it's quite a funny one. I think this was, I'm pretty sure this was one of those times where I'd said to him, would you like to go and hop into bed and have a little nap? No, mum, I'm not tired. And then about two minutes later, I hear snores coming from the couch and here he is. There's nothing as beautiful as a sleeping child or a sleeping baby, in my opinion. So just layering up with those beautiful Daydreamer papers, as I said, I've used the black on white scripty font one first, and that says to the moon and back. And then I'm going to use this one with the little gray triangles. And I've also used a piece of that paint splodgy one. Now I've, I've really only used that paint splodgy one for layers behind my photo. So I'm going to take, make a mental note. I love it and I want to use it from, I want to see more of it than just a little bit poking out for, from behind my photo. So I'm making a mental note to do that. And of course, being my stingy self, I am saving as much of each of these papers as I can, even though I have multiple um, backups, but I'm, it just old habits die hard, don't they? To complete my layers behind my photo, I pull in this green doily from my stash. And thinking about it now, I should have used one of the gold doilies that we got in the kit, but this green, these green doilies, I haven't used them yet and they were just the perfect color. They match the greens in this collection perfectly. So I think they were in the forefront of my mind to use instead of the ones from the kit. The gold with the kit would have worked just as fine. <laughs> Sorry, it would have worked just as well in this situation anyway. So just layering that up in the corner and that's going to be the base for this wood veneer, which is going to be my title as such. So the wood veneer is from Corbett Creations and it's going to just rest on top of the doily just there. And it says to the moon and back. I did have a thought that I would add um, using some alphas, uh, just love you to the moon and back. But when it came time to do that, I decided I would just leave it as it is. I've also pulled in some wood veneer clouds and those two little houses ephemera pieces, pulling in a cloud ephemera piece as well. And I'm pretty happy with how that's all looking. So I'm going to go ahead and start sticking things down. So down goes my moon wood veneer, which I absolutely covered in glue unintentionally. And then on go the clouds. And I decide that as much as I love, and I do, I really love this collection, I find that the ephemera pieces and the stickers, they're all covered in different phrases and your layout can end up looking really wordy. So just because of that, I do end up swapping out this cloud. However, I do pull back that cloud with the phrase on it later on. So I'm going to add in one of these tickets. I've been dying to use these. So I've chosen the one that says Dream and they are Dear Lizzie tickets and they've got beautiful gold foiling on them. And then because I've got that green there and the green in the corner, I want to introduce another color. So I just snip off the green house that was connected to this pink house 
and I'm going to layer this pink house up with the green ticket and then I'm going to pull in some other pink elements from the sticker sheet and what else do I pull in here hmm oh yes so I put it put this house down here then I layer up the sticker which will come in in a minute which is another pink little house then I do end up bringing in a, this house which is a greenhouse and here we go see it's got a phrase on it and I can't remember what it was but I didn't really want that there so I end up just using it I still use it but I just layer it up so that this pink house covers some of the words the little pink house covers the other lot of the words and then I, I do bring back in the cloud that I had resting up the top before. Now even though it has a phrase on it, I feel like it's a more suitable phrase for this cluster and it doesn't bother me as much. Uh, I was, I did toy with the idea of covering this phrase with some word stickers just to add a little bit more um, layers and interest and and so forth to my cluster however because there was the three lines I couldn't find three word stickers that were suitable and I, I quite like the look of this anyway so now I'm going to bring in one of my favorite things at the moment one of the Chamel little by little wood buttons and I choose a pink stripy one and then I decide I'm going to add one of the Heidi Spot bows and I choose the white with black polka dots and that just sits down here. The next thing I do is a bit of a fail but you know, you've got to take the good with the bad. I just got myself some of the white um, Heidi Swap Color Shine Mist and although it, it's worked, it, it, it's a bit... I don't know it's a bit sort of neither here nor there so I come in with some of the trusty gold and that's my layout done thanks so much for watching stick around for the close-ups if you're interested or you want any more information on these kits head over to their Facebook page or their website and Steph will hook you up thanks again bye